The most essential learning competency. Determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in a particular atom. The atom is known as the smallest particle of an element and matter. It is usually a single neutral particle. An atom has a proton, an electron, and neutron that are held together by nuclear bonds. To maintain the electrostatic attraction between the electron and the nucleus. Most elements in the periodic table exist as atoms. On the other hand, when atoms combine, a molecule is formed. It is made up of two different or two identical atoms that are chemically combined. An example is oxygen. Two atoms of oxygen is oxygen gas, the oxygen we breathe. It becomes ozone molecule when three oxygen atoms combine. An atom of oxygen and two hydrogen atoms makes water or H2O. Unlike atoms, molecules can be broken down into individual atoms. An example is water or H2O. It can be broken down into hydrogen gas, H2, and oxygen gas, O2, through electrolysis. Atoms are usually spherical in nature that can or cannot exist in a free state. Meanwhile, molecules are bent, some are linear, and exist freely. Let's trace the historical background of the atom and its subatomic particles. Democritus A Greek philosopher named Democritus of Abdera speculated that a point would be reached where matter could not be further divided. He called this indestructible particles atomus, a Greek word meaning indivisible. In 1897, Joseph John Thomson discovered the electron in his cathode ray experiment. He introduced electrons to the atomic model. His proposed model of atoms shows negatively charged electrons stuffed like plums in a padding of positive charges, now known as the plum padding model. Thomson's experiments provided the first evidence that atoms are made of even smaller particles. Ernest Rutherford accidentally discovered the proton and the nucleus in 1911 when he conducted the gold foil experiment. He coined the word proton for the smallest unit of positive charge in the nucleus. The discovery of the proton led to important developments in the study of elements. Rutherford's model states that all of an atom's positive charge is concentrated in its nucleus. In 1932, James Chadwick, a British physicist who had worked with Rutherford, detected neutrons and measured their mass in an invisible game of billiards. He bombarded beryllium atoms with alpha particles. An unknown radiation was produced. Chadwick interpreted this radiation as being composed of particles with a neutral electrical charge and the approximate mass of a proton. This particle became known as the neutron. With the discovery of the neutron, an adequate model of the atom became available to chemists. He was given the Nobel Prize for his discovery. Parts of an Atom Nucleus Every atom has a core called nucleus. The nucleus is the largest part of an atom, about 99.9% .9 of its mass. Within the nucleus are very small particles called protons and neutrons. Electrons are in orbit around the nucleus. Protons Protons are the positively charged particles found inside the nucleus of an atom. Every element has a unique atomic number, 
This number is the amount of protons inside the element's nucleus. For example, oxygen has an atomic number of 8. How many protons does it have? Yes, you're right. 8 protons. Electrons Electrons are very small, only about 1 over 2,000 the mass of proton or neutron. Electrons can move between atoms which causes bonds. This is how new compounds are formed. Neutrons Neutrons are the other particles found inside the nucleus of an atom. Neutrons have no charge. Atoms of the same element may not carry the same number of neutrons. Protons and neutrons contribute to the mass of the atom. Protons and neutrons are called nucleons because they are found inside the nucleus. This table shows some of the properties of the three subatomic particles. Electrons, negative charge, located outside the nucleus. Protons, positive charge, located inside the nucleus. And neutrons, no charge, located inside the nucleus. Let's determine the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons in an atom. Elements are given letter symbols including their atomic number and mass. The mass number, or capital letter A, is written on the upper portion beside the symbol X, while the atomic number, capital letter Z, is written below the mass number. This figure is an atomic symbol with its atomic number and mass. X the atomic symbol of element, A, mass number, and Z, atomic number. The number of protons in an atom is called the atomic number of an element. A neutral atom holds an equal number of protons and electrons. The atomic number also indicates the number of electrons in that atom. Meanwhile, the mass number is the sum of the total number of protons and neutrons in an atom. To illustrate further, see the symbol of identifying the fluorine atom. With an atomic number of 9, fluorine has 9 protons. Since the number of protons must be the same as the number of electrons, it has also 9 electrons. How many neutrons does it have? To compute for the number of neutrons, subtract the mass number from the atomic number, 19 minus 9. Therefore, fluorine has 10 neutrons. Always remember that for a neutral atom, atomic number equals number of electrons equals number of protons. Mass number equals number of protons plus number of neutrons. Number of neutrons equals mass number minus atomic number. Another example, element sodium. The element symbol is Na. The atomic number is 11. With an atomic number of 11, sodium has 11 protons. Since the number of protons must be the same as the number of electrons, it has also 11 electrons. How about the neutrons? Again, to compute for the number of neutrons, subtract the mass number from the atomic number. 23 minus 11 equals 12. Therefore, sodium has 12 neutrons.